I cannot emphasize enough that you need to ensure that you have a plan of action. You are going to get a cash flow statement either in the following test or in your exam. Therefore, practice. You need to have a plan of action. How are you going to attempt your cash flow statement questions? And there's quite a lot of easy marks that you need to get. Okay? You have to work extremely fast, I know. But there's a lot of easy marks that you need to ensure that you get. Now, my first step, I will include my templates. Now, my templates will be my cash flow statement as well as my T accounts. Now, I will immediately, when I draft T accounts, remember this is calculations. Therefore, you do not have to write the details relating to acquisition, transfer to IFRS 5, and so forth. This is your calculation. Immediately, I will include my opening balances as well as my closing balance from my statement of financial position. And remember to tick off the amounts that you have used to ensure that your cash flow statement are complete. Then I've indicated, think about how you are going to approach your calculations. Now, in my mind, when I look at my cash flow statement, I know that I have to start with my cash receipts. Therefore, I will include that I know that this will be my calculation one. I know my next line item will be my cash payments. Therefore, include, this will be my calculation two, and my T accounts, important, my T accounts will follow numerical order, calculation three onwards. Now, guys, if you do draft one or two T accounts that you're not going to use, it's fine. When I draft T accounts, guys, I go into an automatic mode. Lines, drawing lines, adding, opening, closing balances. Oh, shucks, I've included Goodwill. It's fine. Let's just go on. I know I don't need it, but it's fine. I'm not going to waste my time now. Just leave it. Okay. Then I will start at the top in my cash flow statement. I will calculate my cash receipts. But what is important, what you need to keep in mind, and I've included this, is as you work through your paragraphs, Remember, you are in a zone. For example, if you are working with your paragraph where we have purchased a subsidiary, you are in a zone, you are thinking about all of the thousand of implications that this paragraph has. Immediately transfer the relevant amounts. Why? Because then at least you don't have to think about everything again. So I'm indicating to you that you need to start at the top. Yes. But as you work through an important paragraph and you know the implications of that paragraph, transfer your amount and ensure that you have completed that paragraph. Guys, you can do this now or at the end. It doesn't matter. My point that I want to make is that you are in a zone busy with that paragraph. You are thinking about the, all of the implications on that paragraph. Okay. Now, number three. When you are complete with your cash from operating activities, you need to move to your investing activities. Refer to your statement of financial position for guidance and work through your paragraphs from the top briefly again relating to additional information. Now, what do I mean with guidance from your statement of financial position? Remember, you have ticked off your opening and closing balances. Therefore, you need to be able to identify if you reconcile your assets or your liability accounts, guys. When you reconcile this, you are able to identify, will this have an effect on my investing activities or my financing activities? And as you identify this, immediately transfer your amounts. Remember, you're in a zone, you're thinking about that problem now. Therefore, transfer it and move on. Ensure that you just tick off the amount that you have used. Okay? When the cash from investing activities are completed, move on to your financing activities. And the same principle applies. Now, guys, if your cash flow statement does not balance, this is not a train smash. Leave it. Go on, guys.
please don't waste your time to try and get it to balance and balance and balance. If you're running out of time in an exam, leave it and please move on.